Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I want to take you on a journey that is familiar to me and happens with countless individuals in my community. Imagine waking up one day, struggling to catch your breath, feeling completely exhausted, weak, and sometimes coughing. But for many reasons, you are unable to access the diagnosis that could save your life. This, my friends, is the reality faced by millions worldwide, specifically in low resources settings, people affected by tuberculosis. Now, ask yourself, why is diagnosing tuberculosis in low resources settings is still an uphill battle for many? What are the barriers that prevent the accurate and timely detection? What can we do to bridge the diagnostic gap and save millions of precious lives one of which can be a family member, a loved one, a friend. Today, I invite all of you to delve with me into the crucial issue of diagnosing tuberculosis in these challenging settings. But first, I have a question for you. Does anyone able to recognize the girl in the picture? Any similarity with me? <laughs> it's me, and my name is Aureliana Filomena Shambal Shilengi. I am from Mozambique. I am passionate about tuberculosis research, and this passion raised in 2016 when I was working at the Nampula Tuberculosis Reference Laboratory in Northern Mozambique, and these are my colleagues from the laboratory. Tuberculosis, also referred to as TB, is not a relic of the past. It is a global public health problem that silently claims millions of precious lives worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, mycobacterium tuberculosis, the causative agent of TB, is responsible for approximately 10 million TB cases and 1.5 million deaths annually. And the majority of the cases happen in specific higher border countries like mine. Mozambique has a population of 31.3 million people and the case rate is high. It is approximately 361 per 100,000 people in the population, which is equivalent to over 111,000 people being infected by mycobacterium tuberculosis. And the more vulnerable population are those with weakened immune system, such as those with HIV, malnutrition, diabetes, and also those living in overcrowded areas, such as prisons. For many years, the low resources settings have faced numerous challenges for diagnosing tuberculosis. But today, I would like to draw your attention to three of them that pose a significant barrier for our diagnosis. The first one, and very important, is the stigma towards TB patients. The misperception and stigma about TB pose a significant problem for our diagnosis. Many people may attribute TB symptoms to other illnesses, and other people may prefer alternative treatments such as traditional treatments instead of looking for medical attention. The stigma and misperception can lead to fear, discrimination, isolation, and these can result in delayed diagnosis, poor treatment adherence, and ongoing disease transmission. The other very important aspect is that in low resources countries, we have limited access to the diagnostic tools and technologies. The healthcare providers in these settings often rely on TB symptoms for the diagnosis because ancillary diagnosis tests such as chest X-ray that help us to identify abnormalities in the lungs are not always available. However, the symptoms of TB such as cough, fever, weight loss, they are not specific. They can overlap with other respiratory and infectious disease. And these can lead to inappropriate diagnosis and also inappropriate treatment. Navigated to the laboratory diagnosis perspective, we also have very limitation in obtaining the molecular tests for our diagnosis. But thankfully, a specific method addressed to overcome the challenges by the low recessive settings emerged. The famous expert MTB Reef, commonly known as Gene Expert. Gene Expert has revolutionized the diagnosis of TB in low resources settings because it allows to detect timely the resistance of TB and also the bacteria itself. 
Specifically in Mozambique, GeneXpert was implemented in 2011, and since then, the turnaround time improved significantly. And currently, the country is implementing also the expert MTB XDR to detect the resistance to the drugs for second line drugs of resistance of TB, such as fluoroquinolones. However, advanced techniques such as next generation sequencing that allow to sequence the whole genome of TB and also detect the resistance, mutations, strain diversity, the transmission patterns, they are limited. In Mozambique, we implemented in 2021 at the central level. However, at the province levels, we don't have access. The laboratories at the reference level have to refer to the central level, and this can delay the response and the initiation of the treatment. Now, I would like to ask, how can we overcome these challenges? How? Stigma towards TB patients. In Mozambique and other resources settings, we have been implementing several campaigns, awareness campaigns, education, to teach the population what is TB, how is the transmission, what's the treatment. However, the, trans the, the stigma is still there, and it's a complex problem. Maybe we have to work more on the rights and policies to protect people with TB, I don't know. The second one, diagnostic tools and technologies. I would like to call your attention. I would like to call the world attention to continue to support the low resources settings to get advanced technologies for the TED, the TB, and also ancillary diagnostic tests. The last one, we also have serious problems on the emergency new TB resistance strains. This is a serious public health problem. And to identify these new strains, we need a specific drug susceptibility testing that are not available in low resources settings most of the times. And for this, we need a comprehensive approach that involves the national TB programs, the partners in the countries to make available this technology for our settings. In conclusion, my friends, addressing the limitations of the diagnosis of TB in low resources settings is the key for this fighting against tuberculosis. It is necessary to combine several of actions, eliminating stigma, providing technologies, ancillary diagnosis, combinations of the work between the national programs and partners in the countries, but we need help of the world. Please, let's unite our strains to fight against the bee. But please, don't leave anyone behind. The action is now. Let's fight against TB. Thank you very much.